Hello and welcome to eMultiskills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to compare two databases using MySQL uh, Workbench, which is a GUI tool. In this uh, tutorial, what we are going to do is we are going to learn the demo on two uh, Linux hosts uh, whose IP are 192.168.1.51. The uh, host name is Linux2. Uh, another host is 192.168.61. The host name is uh, Linux 3. Both are installed with Oracle Enterprise Linux 6.5. MySQL Server, with, which is already installed, is 8.0. And I have a MySQL Workbench, which is installed on my local system. So what we are going to do is we are going to learn the MySQL compare schema details using the MySQL Workbench. So the prerequisite is you should have two users which should be able to connect uh, remotely uh, using the MySQL Workbench. So since we have already uh, done this step several times in previous demo, so I'm going to skip creation of the user so that it can connect remotely. So I'm skipping this all step and I'll be directly logging into the MySQL Workbench. So this is MySQL Workbench. So I have created the two connections already. One is for 192.168.1.51, which is uh, with the user MySQL backup 51, and for another uh, uh, server where uh, MySQL is already installed, we have uh, the IP address 192.168.1.61, uh, and uh, the user is MySQL backup 61. So you can see I'm connected to both of them. That means connection is successful for both the both the servers. So my, the requirement is I need to compare the schema or the databases on on both the servers. So let's say in this in this demo we are going to compare if uh, the employee database on source and the employee database on the target they are equivalent in terms of uh, the number of tables or other components, stored procedure functions views or uh, triggers. So there is a utility which is provided to, to check uh, these details. So what we have to do is once you open the MySQL Workbench uh, using the source, then, then you need to uh, connect to the uh, database tab, go to database tab and uh, click reverse engineer. So you can see there is nothing like compare schema wizard. So you need to first click uh, reverse engineer so once you click this reverse engineer uh, database, you just cancel it. We don't need to log into this. So you will see a new window uh, which says MySQL model will, will appear. Now again, you have to go to database tab and just say compare schemas. So this is the tab which will take you to, to the further steps. So if you if you read, it says compare and report differences in catalogs. That means the two uh, schemas, either they are hosted on the same server or the different server. So there are two portion. One is source database to take update from, and second is destination database to receive updates. So there are a few things. Uh, the first one says, uh, model schemata. We are not going to look into that. We are going to check on the live database server and we are also not going to check the script file which has all the uh, the details dumped and then we have to compare it. That option is also available. You can check that as well. But we are going to check the live database server. So just by default it is going to select that one only. Click next. Then it will ask you for the uh, database connection. So source database set parameters for connecting to DVMS. So stored connections. We have already created a connection which will connect to 192.168.1.51 and this is the user. Username is MySQL backup 51. It has the privilege to, uh, to work on all the databases. That's why we have created it. It is a privileged user. Just say next. Then it will take you to the target database screen. Here again, it will ask you for the stored connection. So we have already created a connection, which is with the name 192.168.1.61 underscore MySQL backup 61. The host name is 61. The username is MySQL backup 61. Just say next. 
and if you read it is saying retrieve source and target schema names the following task will be executed please monitor the execution uh, press show logs to see the execution logs it has connected to the source database then it has listed the schema list from the source database then it has connected to target database and then it has listed the target uh, database details if you see uh, show logs it will show everything is okay just say next and these are the source schema on this uh, left side target schema on the right side so you can you can compare the these uh, databases or in mysql they are known as the schemas as well so just click uh, uh, the ones which you wanted to compare and just say next if you see here it is saying retrieve and reverse engineer schema objects the following task will now be executed please monitor the execution press show logs to see the execution logs what it is doing it is re retrieving source objects from the selected schema and it is uh, selecting the retrieving the objects from the target schema if you want us to say show logs it will show you how many so fetching table list this is from the source six items from employees so under data employees database there are six tables how many views are there there are two uh, views are there any routines no there are triggers no and then it is doing from the target side fetching table list there are four tables so you can see there are two two uh, tables missing or there is difference fetching view list there is one view but in source there are two views there are no routines and uh, and the trigger so just say next and you will be able to see the complete detail table employees titles was dropped that means this particular table is not available on the target side similarly it is for salaries and table employees was employees dot departments was modified so you can we can quickly uh, have a look either you can use the mysql workbench or if you are comfortable with the um, uh, with the command prompt you can do that if i say show databases so i have already uh, noted what we need to check so this is my source side on the source side i'm logged in as root just to quickly show like I have fired show databases so it has listed there are eight databases then I said use uh, uh, my uh, employees then it is showing the tables uh, show tables so there are eight tables over here on the target side if you if you say there are five five tables so the report if you see the report report says title salaries they are dropped on the target side that means it is not available on the target side so the dimension tables are not available on the target side but the table one of the table it has modified structure what it is says uh, that uh, uh, table employees dot department was modified what what was done so there was a column with the name uh, department underscore name underscore one of data where care 40 was removed that means a new column uh, was uh, added i have done it uh, intentionally on the target side i renamed uh, dept underscore name to dpt underscore one so this this kind of report is very useful when when you have to jump uh, to check the uh, the uh, the structure of uh, two databases which are either hosted on two different servers or the same same server let's say you, you have a prod server you have a development server you restored your uh, uh, prod server details to the development server and somebody is complaining we have some issues and uh, you can use this utility and uh, see if there are any differences and and that will list down all the differences which exist between between the two servers so this is this is very useful when you have to compare two servers in terms of uh, 
the number of objects for two particular uh, two particular databases or in MySQL we say schema and this will report all the details. So you can save it to the file or you can copy it to the clipboard and you can uh, share it to uh, those who, who wanted uh, what kind of difference exists between two databases uh, which are hosted on the MySQL uh, environment either on the same server or on the different server. So this is very useful when we talk about the prod and the development environment wherein it has been restored and there are some differences so this will uh, clearly showing uh, you know, the differences if there are any existing between the two environment i hope this is going to help and uh, thanks for watching